Well, let's go to Canberra now because, uh, of course, the la this Labor government spent about 10 years in opposition talking about the need for wages uh, to go up. Now we hear that contrasted with the current situation where Governor Lowe says essentially at the moment wages growth is, is still not too high and that's putting us in good stead. It comes at the same time that the Albanese government has again acknowledged the growing pain for millions of mortgage holders. But the question is what more can be done to provide relief? Well, there's a budget just around the corner. Let's go live to Trudy McIntosh now. Now, uh, we heard this um, essentially from Bill Evans. He is the chief economist at Westpac saying um, he pointed out that Lomito is coming off at the end of June. This is a tax offset mm -hmm. worth about $7.2 billion to the budget. It helps uh, the lowest uh, workers, the lowest income workers, the lowest income earners, I should say, um, and that's effectively going to feel like a tax hike for them. The chief economist, Bill Evans, mm. said essentially what the budget should be doing is looking at these people that are hurt the most by these interest rate rises and giving them some form of direct payment. But what are we hearing in the lead up mm. to the budget, Trudy? What's the finance minister had to say this morning? Well, Laura, it seems like the message from both Finance Minister Katie Gallagher and the Treasurer Jim Chalmers asked this point this morning is that there is just more pain to come for households, that there is only a limited amount that the government can actually do in terms of providing relief to those who need it without further fuelling inflation. That Limito question is an interesting one, one that I haven't heard put to Treasurer Jim Chalmers in recent months. It was a feature before the last election campaign, but interesting to see now if they are willing to go anywhere in that area. The certainly doesn't seem any appetite to provide cash handouts uh, to the lower levels, something we've seen previous governments do when we weren't in this high inflationary environment. Caddy Gallagher pointing to the existing cost of living measures that have already been legislated and some that haven't actually already started flowing to households. So I think come July 1, there's going to be the childcare changes come into place for many families and also those promised uh, energy rebates as well, something we heard flagged before Christmas. They haven't actually all been completed with the states and that should kick in from after then as well. But as for anything else in the budget, this is Katie Gallagher a short time ago. Well, we're looking at, at all the ways we can make a difference to people's cost of living pressures. We completely understand it. It is really tough for households. But we also have to make sure that we're not fuelling inflation because that, that means uh, it's devastating. It's, it's devastating. I think we've forgotten what high inflation for long periods of time does to living standards. Well, speaking of tax cuts, the big fight, it seems, in the next year and a half is going to be over the stage three tax cuts. Now, this is uh, already legislated, something Labor said it would not be changing prior to the election. It sets in place a flat tax rate of 30% for everyone earning between $45,000 and $200,000. Last year, the Treasurer, Jim Chalmers, flirted with the idea of making changes to this. They keep saying that they have no plans at the moment, but let's see. Peter Dutton, this morning, speaking at the AFR Business Summit where we just saw Phil Lowe, he has fired a pretty big warning shot here, saying any move to tinker with stage three tax cuts would be a massive broken promise. And on the topic of broken promises, on the 26th of July in 2021, Labor vowed to deliver the Coalition's tax cuts. They took that commitment to the election. And to backflip on that pledge would be an absolute betrayal of Australians trust at a time when they need that support. It's a critical test for the government as to whether they will maintain their position and support stage three tax cuts. The Treasurer asked this morning whether the stage three tax cuts will be inflationary when they come into effect next year. He wouldn't give a straight answer on that this morning, Laura, saying as to whether there'll be any tinkers with this, that they need to wait much closer to uh, July next year in order to see where we're at with inflation at the time. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a fascinating budget because, of course, uh, as well, uh, June, the RBA, that mortgage cliff where a lot of people uh, come off their fixed loans will uh, coincide just after the budget as well. It's happening now too, but that's uh, when the bulk of it will happen. Trudy, thanks so much.